today we're going to talk about blood. <laughs> and the reason being is because I'm a mother baby nurse and I have to give blood every so often. So I want you to be a little bit educated about it. So usually before your delivery, we check your hemoglobin and your hematocrit. And then after you deliver, we check those same labs after delivery. If they have dropped by a notable amount, for me at my hospital, it just depends on hospital policy, but if your hemoglobin is below seven or close to seven, and based on just kind of how you're feeling, they might order a transfusion of blood. There's different types of blood products, which people may not realize. There's FFP, fresh frozen plasma, there's packed red blood cells, which is typically what they order. So before we give blood, there is a whole process process we go through. We always do a type and screen. And even if you know your blood type, we're still going to get one drawn. We make sure we have the exact right blood type for you. And we even have to get a new one every 72 hours. So if it's been more than 72 hours since we did your last type and screen, we have to get a new one. And all it is is a blood draw. We make sure your blood hasn't like changed or anything, which might sound crazy. There are instances where people's blood types can change. Go and pick it up. There's a whole cross check verification process that we go through to make sure it's the right blood for you. We also have to have it double checked by another nurse. And when we start giving it, we have a whole process we go through. We stay in your room for the first 15 minutes because if you're going to have a transfusion reaction, which is very unlikely, but if you're going to, it's most likely to happen in those first 15 minutes. Put up on the screen right here what typical signs of a transfusion reaction are. We'll check your vital signs again at the 15 minute mark and after the blood is completed. We then get a set of labs, another hemoglobin and hematocrit about 30 minutes after those blood products have finished running. And this is going to depend on how hospital policy. Oh, I forgot to mention, we also get you to fill out a consent form where we go over all of the risks and the benefits to getting any kind of blood products. Absolutely crazy to see the difference in patients before and after getting blood products. We have people who have felt dizzy, they have blurry vision, they're like so weak, barely can get out of bed, their color is really pale. They'll get one unit of blood and they're literally a different person with different, a completely different energy level, they look better, they say they feel better, so it's crazy. So I hope you never have to ever need or get blood, but if you do, you kind of understand a little bit of behind the scenes of all of the things we do to make sure you stay safe. 